Hello everyone, I meet the most interesting and cool people in the world sitting right here in front of Angelina's Pizza. That's my right. My favorite pizza. That's right. My name's Kit Carson. I am the Earl of Pizza. And I sit here all the time and I talk to the rock stars, the heroes, and the gods. It's what I do. And, and you do it well. And I do do it well. And tonight is no exception. Look at this. Look, Tim, look what I have with me today. I am so excited. I, I have been too. waiting for my chance for sit with <laughs> Kit. I'm like, man, well, let's just, that's the habit. Look at the camera and tell everybody your name and where you're from. Uh, everybody wants to sit with Kit. Yeah. Well, I'm Carolyn. I am from originally Philadelphia and South Jersey, but I've been here for 22 years almost now. Philadelphia and South Jersey. Yeah, half and half, you know. What's, what's the Philly connection? Where you were born? Yeah, that's where I was born. And that's where I wintered. We had a seasonal lifestyle. Like we were snowbirds our whole lives. So yeah. I spent the summers in South Jersey, came a Wildwood area. And then, yeah. you know, I'm Has all it? over. I'm like kind of like a Del Mar Mutt. I went to high school in Delaware. I'm all over the place. I've been like a gypsy my whole life, pretty much, Your thanks whole life. to my parents. <laughs> and now you live, do you live in Key West? I'm back in Key West. I'm wow. so excited. No no more Rancho Relaxo? Well, it's southernmost Rancho Relaxo, <laughs> but I moved to Big Pine, and Big Pine was uh, what I wanted to be Camp Rancho Relaxo. So that's a long drive, you know, yeah. especially after doing like 12 to 13 hour days at the amphitheater. It's like. You know, everybody goes, oh, it's only 30 miles, but it's an hour. The mo the, most of the time is getting from here to the Triangle. Yeah. US 1's a breeze, yeah, but the traffic on here in town, right. it's like, it's amazing what kind of traffic we can build up on a 2x4 island. It, it is amazing. I was just complaining that my ride here, you know, took me 11 minutes today. It should take seven. It should take seven. You know, and it's twice as long. That's just crazy. My, I'm now, like, within five-minute bike ride from here, and I love it. <laughs> ah. It's dangerous, and it's exciting all at the same ah, time. Isn't it great? Oh, yes. that's wonderful. So you moved here 22 years ago. Do you remember your first time, your first day in Key West? Yeah, well, actually, I came down on vacation when I was 16 years old. That's and how it I started? said, that's how it started. And I, you know, when you're in Philadelphia in the Northeast, right. nobody ever smiles and says hi to each nope, other. If you said, hey, how are you? It's never. like, what do you want? Look, what do you want from right. me? I was like, everybody wants something from you. I was blown away. I was blown away by the happiness of people down here. And I said to my parents, I'm going to live in Key West. I thought, I'm sure it's 16. My parents are thrilled that I said that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got an opportunity. Then I came down, you know, I went to Villanova. Is that where you went to school? That's where I went to college, and our senior year was always Key West vacation. So I actually met my radio husband, Bill Hobie, even though we don't remember any of this, but right back here at a wet t-shirt contest. Close your ears, Mom. So, so funny um, it was a wet t-shirt contest. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then t I opened up a smart sports marketing company. I sold it, and my brother graduated, and our family's in the parasail business. They man Actually, all the boats here, parasail boats in the country, are manufactured in Cape May, handmade by my cousin. Is, is that your family's business? Yeah. And They're boat builders. Yep, yeah, and so they said, we got the cruise ship contract. You and your brother want to go down and open up this parasail business for a year, and then you can leave. Sure. Yeah. Well, he left, I stayed, and then right. here we are two decades later. So who took over that contract? Uh, Fury. Fury. Fury has that now. Yep, yep, yep. But all their boats, Vegas boats and all that, they're all made in Cape May and all purchased through us. And, That's you know, crazy. It's awesome. Yeah, we grew up parasailing, so. Your whole life. Our whole life. And I fell in love with your pizza, I think, day one. Day one? Oh, God, yeah. This was like my hangout. <laughs> this was you know, my hangout. Hey, listen, I I've lived off of it for years. <laughs> Well, I, mean, I gave it know. up for Lent, so I'm not 40 days and 40 nights, but you'll see me back in 40 days and 40 nights. That, Jameson, and popcorn, my three biggest faves. So. Well, I, I've been on a horrendous diet for 140 days, so I, it's the longest I've ever gone without having pizza. You haven't eaten pizza in, in 140, 140 days? 140 days. What? 140 right. long damn days. Listen. I mean, it is amazing. No coffee, no sugar, no dairy, no bread. Kill what? I'm speechless. That doesn't it, happen very often. But. No, but you know, it was one of those kind of necessities. So I just said, all right, let's go for it. Let me try it for 30 days. Well, I mean, I went, I'm trying to go vegan, but cheese uh, is my last thing. I, I haven't eaten any animals. I haven't eaten any cheese. animals three years, but cheese is the hardest thing for me to give I, up. I'm especially a bread on pizza. and cheese head. Me I too. I, 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 I I've given it up I all. I haven't, I haven't eaten any, well, any of that stuff, but cheese and bread well, is like my I'm staple. I'm glad you gave it up for Lent. 
Well, yeah, I realized I that I, back. I ordered four slices the night before Lent, so I'm they're, good. They're spring from spring training. Oh, I spring from spring training. Yeah, yeah. She she did sit with Kit about a year ago. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, that's good yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, so what is your claim to fame in Key West? Oh gosh. Um, what well, does everybody know you for? I'm on the radio. You I've are been on, on the radio. radio for 13 years. What's, what's your what's your uh, Hobie in the afternoon experiment? I'm in charge of Hobie. With, he's been on the radio down here for 30 years. And what does he call you? Is he just uh, you know, Dark Helmet, QLC, Carolyn G. I uh, I went to school, believe it or not, for radio, but I never went into it. And then you remember our loved yep. bar across the street, the Lazy Gecko. Yep. Uh, Hobie had a cocktail hour that he did on the television channel down here, and we hit it off, and that's when Miss Loretta was leaving, and he said, you want to try this radio thing out? And here we are, you know, going on two decades, two and decades what? Later. Yeah. He's, he's been doing it for 30 years. It's he is the master at it. He's I taught mean, me everything I knew. He's, he's great. I love him. and uh, I don't exactly know how he does it. Well, he has me. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> you are the wrangler, aren't you? You keep oh, yeah. everybody in control. Ooh, it so, is something. <laughs> some, some, Somehow you manage to keep everything in perspective. Yeah. And then I had the pleasure. I've worked now the last three years for Ramsad Presents and uh, the Key West Theater. So yeah. basically I'm in charge of all the artists. So I get to do all their writers, their green rooms, artist relations, things like that. You and have to put up with the bullshit. Yeah. But and you make know, sure that it goes. Yes. And there's a lot of that that goes I, on. I'm sure it is. They try to trick you a lot. Lot, you yeah. know, like the green M and M thing is not just a thing for Van Halen. That's right. a, that's a thing. You know, I right. told you about the non Swedish fish. Yeah, non Swedish fish. Somebody wanted non Swedish they, fish. They just want to make sure you're paying attention. Attention to detail. That's what it's yeah. all about. You know, but and you do. Yeah, the show goes on. I'm a fire putter outer, and you know, yeah. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to live in this community. I wouldn't live anywhere else. I mean, I grew up here. From if you think about you it, you're young twenties. Yeah. Like yeah. my adult life was growing up in Key West, you know? As with a lot of us. I mean, I was, how old was I, 23 when I moved here? You know, yeah, well, we were the same age. Yeah. So many of us grew up here. Yeah, and you... We not well, might have been born here, but we grew up here. Yes. Or you figured to. out who you were when you were here. You know, you go through well, your adult well, years, you're like, okay. Yeah. We're growing old disgracefully. Or, or gracefully. Or gracefully. <laughs> I don't We're know. Just not, I feel like you have an age since I met not, you. Well, <laughs> you don't look like you've aged since I say, met you. You're, you're the age that you are when you meet someone. Yeah, you absolutely. Met me Twenty years ago, so you still think I look that age. Well, I'm good with that. And you know, Key West has changed a whole lot in twenty years. When I first moved here, I was a wild child, and this town allowed so, me to be. You so know, you changed a lot. I changed a lot. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Key West has changed a lot too, you know? It's not as late night as it used to be. Remember, it was like an all hour yeah, thing I, back that's in the day. Kind of, that's kind of blowing me away at how it's getting less and less late night because I embrace that and I, I love that time of the day. I do too. I you mean, know, we I, literally, the bars closed at four. Yeah. And then you went to the Conk Flyer out at the airport because yeah. they were open. And right. then once they were done, then you came back, you went to Don's place. like. Yeah. Or brick house late night, you know. Yeah. There's so many places that were just like bumping back in the day, late yeah, it's night. Just, but it's not that way anymore. I, and I don't know what's changed about it. I mean, I know. I think we're all getting changed, older. But where are the young ones? The young ones don't go just, to the bars like we do. Is that what it is? I, I'm telling you. So I've now been going back up to New Jersey in the summertime, as you know. And you know, when we were up in Jersey, every night after work was something. We went out every night. Every night. And these kids they're like, I'm like, you guys want to go out and get a beer after work? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I'm like, my bar back said, you guys went out every night? I said, every night. We were changing in the night. in the bathroom right after, get our uniforms off, and out we go to if, dollar if beer night. Out, or there was something special was going on, or you felt bad. Yeah, yeah. I you just know? don't think I just don't think the younger generation is feeling that anymore. I think the baby boomer generation, our generation, we're bar people. We like yeah. going out. We like going to the bars. So where you know? is it going to? Just house parties? I don't know. Or I guess house, house parties are. I just, I, in my personal opinion, I think that like social media and technology and the internet and being able to socialize from the seat in your house wow. at your desk has yep. changed the ball game. You know what? I never really put it together like that. I mean, think about it. Yeah. You just have to make a plan. You'd be like, I'll well, meet the, you at Spencer's at the mall at eight o'clock, and if right. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was it. Phone, you went you had, there. Yeah. yeah, free cell phone. You had to do it. Yeah. But you're right. Now you can sit on your damn couch and you can you can fake what you want to fake. You can, you know, take take a selfie from your shoulders up and be naked from yeah. your waist down and land in bed. That's why I never got dick what, pics. Dick pics I don't get. Guys send these pics. Unless you're taking a selfie with it, how do you know that's them? I, you know, and most guys guys not, just a note they're, girls they're don't not, like they're it. not they're not contortionists so they can't really get down there to right do if it. they could maybe we would be used less as ladies or dudes or whatever but yeah you know I, I, I've, I've, I've never taken one and or never don't sent just one, stick with I don't your, yeah. quite get it <laughs> me neither <laughs> never like, have never will <laughs> I hope I don't get any now now because of this we're both gonna get a whole bunch of dick pics and I hope please not don't. <laughs> Please. Unless no. your name is Dick, just send us a selfie. Yeah, yeah if you're thinking, <laughs> yeah. Which that goes, that goes to our, our selfie king. I was busting on him the other day because he goes, let's take a selfie, and I'm like, go ahead. He goes, no, I want you in it, and I'm going, well, then it's not a selfie. What is it called? It's so, an ussy. That's why I said, is it an ussy or a wheezy? Yeah, oh, or a wheezy. I like wheezy you know too. I mean? Yeah. And then when you add more people, what, what is it when there's like four or five of you? A groupie. Oh, a bunch of groupies. <laughs> hey. She works with bands a lot, and I don't know why she would come up with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do, I do. And I'm excited. We've got so many cool bands coming up in March. We've got a CZ whole... Top, Foreigner, Marshall Tucker. I mean, it's, the list goes on. It's, I'm excited. I love CZ Top. This is my second time Man, having I'm them come around. I was telling somebody the other day that in college, you know, being a poor kid in Alabama, I saved my pennies and went and saw CZ Top on the Eliminator Tour. And this guy opened for him that I'd never heard of, the Red Rocker. And I'm like, who's that guy? Turns out his name is Sammy Hagar. Yeah. And he was phenomenal. We well, had him down here. Fast forward 35 years, and after COVID, the, one of the first concerts was Sammy Hagar. A month later was ZZ Top. And I'm like, yeah. damn, Sammy, you're still opening for ZZ Top, aren't you? Right. <laughs> I know. And, and ZZ Top it was right after Dusty died. Right, right? after right. Dusty died. And right after Dusty I, died. Which was, you know, I you like know. going a half hour. I'm there when the buses get there, and I'm there when they pull out. So usually I'm there like 6.30 in the morning till sometimes 1, 1.00. 30 by the time everybody showers yada right. yada I like getting there a half hour early setting my day before I have to deal with everybody well here comes this bus a half hour early for ZZ Top and the door opens and who is it Billy Billy in his pajamas yeah and I was like oh and he's like is catering set up I said nobody you can share my coffee and we sat and just watched the sunrise on the side of his tour bus had coffee and just talked life yeah. and i was like those are the those are the things that's cool being right. where i am in my position well, that, that was going to be my next question is of all the people you've dealt with who was the most fun the most fun go with fun um oh gosh there's a lot of them that's fun um i think the the most moving artist that I dealt with was Jimmy Buffett last year. Yeah. Having him for two shows at the theater and then two at the amp. You know, my job is to be not noticed behind stage. You know, I take you care are, of them. I'm the backstage experience coordinator is what Live Nation calls it. But, you know, when you have a camp, like just Willie Nelson did the same thing where they go, what do you need? Take a load off. You're like, oh, right. thanks, you know. Um, but a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with Revolution. Revolution. We did, yeah. We now had a uh, what ten times? Uh, okay, maybe I think not quite. Not so much three. Three. But that's a lot because well, the amphitheater to, only opened what well, 2017, okay. 18. Down, they, they used to play on the the Ocean Chaos Pier, didn't yes, they? Yes, I mean, yes, yes. I think I saw them there the first time. Yeah, but um, I love the Temptations. The Temptations oh, yeah. are coming back again. I mean, to have just who? Let me ask you a different question. Who's been the most surprising? Who did you? think was going to be difficult or not nice or who surprised you the most john fogarty john fogarty john fogarty uh he had a Why? lot of demands a lot, a lot of, demands. of demands on his rider uh you know and but he's no spring chicken anymore he's no spring chicken he's well you know his tour manager he ended up firing his tour manager i believe and his tour manager at that point was his brother oh wow and his brother is his older brother and he was a blast. His brother was awesome. Awesome. He's like, don't worry about that inch by inch cut cheese that he's requiring. I'm like, okay, good. You know, um, it might be three quarters. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, but no, I've had a, a lot of fun ones. Um, Herman's Hermits. Yeah. Uh, 
it was Peter Noon, the lead singer of them. They had two shows at the theater, and at, between the shows, he said, you want to go to dinner? I go, me? He's like, yeah, I'll take you to dinner. I was like, okay. You know, know he, was <laughs> he was a blast. He was a blast. Most of the artists that come in and their team and their camps are great. You know, I really haven't had a lot of, you know, blank holes, if you'd like to use those words. But, you know, they're, it's a lot, putting that together in our little island. That's why I love our little island. So, because, and Jelly Roll was great. I had Jelly Roll twice here yeah. and, and in Iowa because I go out to do festivals and a couple other right. places. He was awesome. So I, I'm just amazed at how he and how he's transitioned. Jelly Roll? Yeah. He's and, like... And been received fairly well on both sides. It's amazing. Like, and who's the, the fact that one? he's in Congress and he's fighting to right. correct this issue that we have, which is a huge issue with, you know, opioids and all yeah. this other stuff. Right. And he was one... I mean, he has really come talk about somebody that went through right, the program right. he, and transformed. He, he has. Absolutely. Yeah. And who's the one that was on the Super Bowl that I'm like, what's he doing singing country? Um, Usher? No, no, no. Another guy that was... Um, Kind of rappy. I don't know. I have to honestly say up. I didn't even watch it's the Super Bowl. Another Jelly Roll kind of guy. Oh, uh, shit. Sorry, guys. I forgot. Post Malone. Post Malone. Okay. I was yeah. like, he was the only other white guy I knew yeah, who was yeah. tatted up like that. And he's now country. I guess so. Yeah, I guess he's now country. I, I, I don't. You know, the genres have switched so. It, there's so it, many more genres now than when I was growing up. It was like classic rock, rock, country, yeah, yeah. and gospel. You know, it was like those three things. Yeah, that was about it. <laughs> then you you know, and sometimes you'd make country and gospel. They could kind of cross the and lines, but... Now there's 19 different varieties of rock music. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm confused sometimes. Well, it's it's scary to see what's coming up in my log for classic rock now, because, you know, I'm like, oh, wait, yeah. that's now classic rock? Woo-woo, you know? Yeah. Okay, got it. Now well, I'm in my 40s, right. get yeah. it. <laughs> well, one of, one of my... A friend of mine plays with a band, and... And I wasn't real familiar with them because they came out in the late 90s. And that was kind of when I was working really hard. And Key West, you don't have a drive time, so I don't listen to the radio. Right. I wasn't watching MTV. And MTV, I think, at that point had changed. And it just really wasn't that current. Yeah. You know, I had Rolling Stone just to try to see who was relevant, you know, and poorly. And he tells me... He goes, well, they were really big in the in the 90s. He goes, if you go into any Walgreens, you'll hear our music. <laughs> and I started laughing. I'm like, wow, that old, huh? Yeah, that's you know? what we aspire to be, elevator and Walgreens music. Wow, you know, yeah. like, wow okay. Oh, that's crazy. But, you know, and, and all, what I, I think one of the things that I really like about the music scene now in 2024 is that all those classic rocks like we just got through having rock island all those guys and and we had the uh key western all mm -hmm. the all the 70s ladies that are 70 years old yeah they were hot in the still 70s rocking you know i'm so proud that they're all still doing it well, I think, and they're being received well yeah i think it's like you and i are kind of similar in the fact that you got to just keep doing you know what i mean like yeah. It's your purpose. That's what you do. That's right. what you love to do. Like you, I, I'm speaking for you. I shouldn't, but no. I love what I do. You know what I mean? I don't see Likewise. it as work. I work hard. I work, and it's hard. I, I walked 15 miles for Willie Nelson day, but it's That's because you love it. You know what I love is yeah. that I looking my favorite time of a concert is getting the artists on stage because that's really the first time I can chill for a minute and looking out yeah, and seeing minutes. not only them but just seeing how happy people are that are out there. I mean, these people are singing songs that everyone can relate to a point in their life. That, Something moves them at a point in their life. That's you know? what feeds them as well. I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, we never had that. Remember, like, back in the day, No, we you, could, you had to go up to Miami, rent a hotel room, spend well, all I, this money. Now you can get on your bicycle, I, go ZZ Top and be in bed, you know, whenever you want after. Thank you. That's what I tell people, I, you know, my wife, the lovely Valerie, will call me and say, I'm on my way, and I'll be at work. She'll Uber to the amp. I'll get on my scooter, and I'll ride over, park it, and meet her at the front door. We'll watch the show. We'll walk out together. I'll give her a ride home on my scooter and be back to work in two hours. Yeah, the whole and you're thing. the best-dressed couple every show. Every show. <laughs> every <laughs> show. Well, well, <laughs> you guys really are. Like, if there was the a best-dressed best category... 
<laughs> I vote you guys. Well, I bring the fashionista everywhere I go. <laughs> She's lovely. Yeah. No, it is fantastic. <laughs> but, man, the stories. And you know what? That's great about our little island is that I feel like it's always been a place celebrities can come and not feel like they're bombarded. Like, they can actually Pre vacation Pre-cell phones, here. it was really, really that way. Well, now it's yeah. not as much. I'm just you know? glad that pre-cell phone video was when I was in my 20s here in right. Key West. So I that have, I have nothing and, and that's going to be coming out of the closet. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who knows what's going to go? Oh, and, then, and then again, okay. sometimes um, those of us that, and this was purely coincidental, you know, sometimes you don't even see people. Yeah. You know, yeah. That are, that are just hiding in plain sight. Yeah. Because they're just being normal and, you know, you just don't really pay them attention. And then the, there's some of us that are old school enough that we leave them alone. We just give them their space unless they make eye contact and smile and say, hey, how you doing? Then you're going to just, yeah. you know, keep going. Yeah. yeah. It's so, awesome. a question I was thinking, um, on a lot of these people's tours, is this the beginning of their tour or is it the end? Uh, normally, it's where are we it, on that? We're both. We're, we're both. both. So we're, we're the beginning. We're tagged on to their Florida leg a lot. They're, That's why we can afford to bring them down there. They're you on know. the Florida leg. So they're on the Florida leg. So sometimes it's the beginning of the tour where we'll get boxes and boxes of merch sent here because they're picking it up. Can we get Iron Maiden when they start their tour? I hope so. I would they play love Miami it. when they start their I tour. I love Miami. it. I would hey, love Iron it. Iron Maiden, come to Key West. Yeah. Hey, if you're listening. Right. Um, but then sometimes it's and the Alice last. Cooper, it's the last forget. show. I've had a lot of times sure. where it's like the absolute last show and they're ready to go home and it's just you know. But it never seems like it. No, they always you know, play like. I mean, I've I've seen shows where you catch them two thirds of the way through their world tour, and the lead singer's voice is blown, and they're worn out, and they, you can tell they're just tired. Yeah. Even though they're trying to bring it, they're just done. Let me tell you, these performers, I am so impressed at some of the ages that they are, and the performances they put on. It's it, just like, it's amazing. it is absolutely amazing. And my, one of my favorite shows for Rock Island was Cinderella. Oh, I know. I, that, Rock Island's that, one of my favorite that festivals guy, ever to hit the I, island. You know, I told everybody, everybody goes, oh, well, they're all old. You go watch some of these shows. I mean, let's not even talk about the Stones that I've seen 900 times, but that guy went out on that stage and put every ounce of his energy yeah. into that show, and I was blown away. Yeah. I've always loved Cinderella, Yeah. but he was fantastic. I mean, for fantastic. the Key Western Festival, so Tanya Tucker's whole crew, I, I work Sam, with. And I'm sorry I missed you, Tanya. I'm uh, sorry. You know, come back to Key West. She rocked it. Her whole crew is my backstage crew at Denim Fest that's out in Iowa that I do every year. Oh, really? So they're like, you know, J.L. Jameson's crew is our right. crew here. It's the best, one of the best crews in the world. Hi, um, J.L. But they, so they said, okay, you know, I, for those festivals, I'm working with the bars out front. I pop to the front bars, you know, I'm not right. backstage for the rental festivals. Right. But so they said, well, this is her last song. And then she kept going and going. They're like, never mind, she's having a blast. And that's happened again for Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson's last song is supposed to be Good Hearted Woman. And he played like six songs over, you know? Which which was a, a, a little over an hour, which is impressive for a 91-year-old man. Yeah, yes. You know, I mean, I Very. Was, I mean, it was a, it was right at an hour last year, and I figured he was probably going to cut a song or two this year. Yep. But you said he added a song or two. Yeah, it was great. And that venue, is, I feel like artists, and I hear this all the time from our artists, about how special that venue is for them. Because there's not many venues that are on the Gulf of Mexico watching the sunset. Yeah, and oh my God. that intimate. I mean, you yeah. can't get a bad seat at that venue. You really can't, you know? No, I've watched, you know, I, I watched John Fogarty from as far up on the hill as you could get. And um, honestly, I didn't really watch a whole lot. I, I laid on a blanket with Valerie and, and looked at the stars. Nothing wrong with that. That's fun, was, too. But it was like freaking awesome. Yeah. You know, it was fantastic. And every now I'd sit up and I'd look and go, oh, hey, there's John Fogarty. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was, Willie it was Nelson, uh, Cindy Crawford was in town for that. And I had had her when we had Kenny Chesney over at the theater. You mean right in front of me in line? Yes. <laughs> Was that not hysterical? I was like, Cindy Crawford calling my name out? This is weird. Um, but yeah, she she bought yeah. tickets. Yeah. She bought tickets right. and was waiting in line and she and goes, you know, know she goes, she said this is a Ma great mad venue. Respect for you, Cindy, because that's the way, you know, that's the way it She works. could have easily pulled her Cindy card, right? When well, I was walking her to her seat, the right. tour manager from Willie goes, Is that Cindy Crawford? I go, Yes, yeah. why didn't she just reach out to us? I said, because she's supporting live music. 
And that's yeah. what's cool. And that's you know, and I tell that uh, some of the people here are, are remain, you know, main, look, remain nameless. Nameless, yeah. Yeah, you know, like like Kyle and Rob. Yeah. But you know, they often go, you know, you don't have to buy tickets every night, and I'm like, but I want to. Yeah. You know, I want these shows. I'm. I put my foot in my mouth years ago and said, if you bring them to Key West, I'll gladly pay extra for a ticket so I don't have to drive four hours to Miami to get a hotel room to spend way too much money to drive four hours home or do a 12-hour day and go up and come back. That's you know, exactly I, my point. A lot of people, you know, the The, the three-minute scooter ride from, from my shop to the amp. Yeah. You know, I mean, it is a I'll lot pay. to put on these shows. It is a lot that goes into it, money-wise, production-wise, this, that, of. and the other. So when I hear people say, well, you know, the ticket price, and I'm like, okay, or it's well. Not, or it's not really them. You know, it's just yeah. part of the band. It's like, yeah. whatever. You know, whatever. <laughs> You know, you, I, I just don't get it. It's a show. It is a show. You want to pay to have a show. I mean, yeah. we have we have a I free show when we have people watch here, I, but I, that's a whole different this, element this over there. Show, Sometimes right? we should pay to watch people watch. Well, you know, um, <laughs> you got the best people watching spot on I, earth. I, here. I sit here all night long and I watch the the parade. Yeah. And I have to say, if you sit here long enough, you'll see everybody twice. That's true. You that know, is true. Everybody in the world, and you would be amazed. Not maybe not. You know. Valerie just laughs at me, you know, when I go, hey, Valerie, and she goes, oh, don't, don't, no, don't do that, and I go, yeah, let me go say hi to him, and I'll come back, and she'll go, how did you know I'm from pizza, and I go, yeah, like, three years ago, they were in the pizza shop, <laughs> and she always, she always like, oh, my God, she just laughs at me, but I love we, it. we see everybody here in Key West. Yeah, we really do. I mean, it's, it's a great little island. And I love that everybody knows each other. And we, when we put events on here, like when we have these festivals and stuff, it's it's our island family. Everybody's working. Everybody's right. working hard. Everybody's wanting to make it work. Like right. there's so many, all these new festivals and music venues that have come in the last 20 years. It's like amazing. Amazing. It you is know? Truly it really amazing. is. You know, and to be able now also to see people that were on the stage at Hog's Breath. We're Green Parrot. Now we're paying to go see them right. at Isn't amphitheaters, and they're touring stadiums. It's like Isn't that amazing. That is so cool to me. That's what know? it should be. Yeah. I mean, that's going full circle, you know. And, and then, then in another ten years, they'll be black. Back Key in the West house. is a very motivate. It's a motivating town. It's a town that inspires artists, writers. I mean, for years, right. that's the decades and decades of that is proof. But. People are motivated to write about this place. It's a special. Well, this has a special draw to people. Have, so artists, musicians, songwriters, you know, there's have, so many songs come out. I only out of have this. two points of reference for this, but I know Steven Tyler sat at one of my tables one night in a pouring rain for about four hours with his girlfriend or whoever she was. And Lady of the day. Everybody left him alone. And then six months later, an album comes out, and there's a line in there that says, I drank so much Bucci that my eyes began to bulge, and I just took it personal. I'm like, he, he was in Key West. Yeah, totally, <laughs> you know? totally. And I have no idea why he wrote that line, but it just resonated with me, and I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. Totally, totally. I mean... <laughs> I've done that a few times. And, me you know. too. <laughs> I think we all have. You know, after that conch flower or after the freaking Boca Chica Lounge and Oh, a, a Boca house Chica party. Lounge. Man. And, and you're like, okay, it's uh, it's 8.30 and I got to be at work at 9. I need to go to Eminem and hit up a double Bucci. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you know Sandy's, what I mean. <laughs> Sandy's. Sandy's is always a staple of mine. Wow. 24 hours. I know, that's a funny, that is a funny story. I, when I first moved here, I was green as green gets. Yep. I remember Krabby Bills was over there and I worked over oh, there. Oh, yeah. Uh, bartending and we had a fantasy wow. fest event and Ron Jeremy was there oh, I didn't yeah. know who Ron Jeremy was right I had no Back idea in the day he hung out here quite a bit for yeah. about five years yeah <laughs> well I was at Sandy's and it was like five o'clock in the morning and he's passed out next to me in front of his Cuban mix <laughs> and so I still don't know who he is so I text my mom or called her I don't even know if texting existed back then I said mom Who's Ron Jeremy? And she goes, why are you asking me this? I go, because he's passed out next to me. Of course, she immediately was like, <laughs> <Get> what? <away. laughs> and then she said, well, he's an old 70s porn star. I go, I don't think so. I think you're talking about somebody else. Yeah. I go, what? And then I go, how did you know that? She goes, I grew up in New York City. She goes, you know. But, yeah, I mean, we see him all down here. I, I've got one Ron Jeremy story, and I feel somewhat... I don't know really his situation currently. I think he's in prison. I think he's in the popo. But I, I can I can only say this is that I watched. She's probably popular in there. Probably. <laughs> I watched I watched a mother 
basically set up a, a, a date for her daughter, who she said was a virgin. With Ron? With Ron. She's like, I want the first time to be with, with somebody who knows what they're doing. And and the next day, I see him, and I said something. I go, hey, how'd your date go? And he goes, oh, it went well. You know, and, and he basically, you know, I banged her brains out, and she left. I'm like, wow. So when when this is when this is your life, I mean, I, I don't really know anything about his trial. I don't really, I'm not trying to defend him. But I just know that he had a very crazy life. Oh, yeah. And, and people, women would do that to him. I, I sat there and watched it, and I was just like, can't believe blown somebody away. named the hairy hedgehog anybody would want to set their daughter up with. But hey, me either. You know, she sat right there at this table back here, and you no, know, she's 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 18. I promise, she's 18. She's a virgin, and I, I was just like going, shaking my head, going, no, that's not la la la. That's not even right. You know, who in their oh, right man. mind does that? I'm but telling whatever. you. Well, you it know. is well, it is Key West, and people just kind of lose their minds when they come down here. Sometimes it's like. They it's Fantasy Island, really. They're trying you know? to find themselves, but really, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I mean, Whatever you if want. you're going to find yourself, I guess this is the place to do it. Find yourself I here. <laughs> well, I guess so. I mean, but man, yeah, we've seen it all. I'm sure you we've have. We've seen been... a lot. I'm not sure we've seen it all yet. but Well, you know, maybe not, but yeah. I, I think there's probably a few more things left to see. <laughs> well, uh, I'm planning on seeing them. I'm not leaving yeah. anytime soon. So. No, I, I don't plan on either. You plan on staying? Yeah, I mean, I don't have any, I, you know, you try and leave the island, people try and leave the island, right. you know, I had to go up for a couple of years and my dad got sick, but I was always coming down here every other third weekend or whatever, but this island's one of those that well, we we support when somebody goes, we're leaving on to a new adventure, yeah. and we're go, we'll see you soon, yeah. you know, because Be inevitably, right back. inevitably <laughs> you come back, but that's what's cool about Key West. Key West is always a safety net. If you've, if you've been a good person in this community. It's an expensive one. Ooh. Yeah, but it yeah. has gotten a, a, a lot more expensive well, than ever need a, before. You don't but. need a car. Like you said, no, you ride yep. your bike. You're yeah. I'm a big fan of the bus. I'm probably one of the only locals that loves taking the bus. You know. I take the bus all the time. I've, I've threatened to do it, and I have lived here 30 plus years, and I've never ridden that bus. Let's ride the bus together. Let's do it one Let's day. Let's do a sit with Kit Let's, on the bus. Tim, we we're doing do a sit with Kit on the bus. I think that would be the, great. Do the loop. We can do the loop. Yeah, we can stop off. I, we can even go up the keys if you want. I, I, I don't really care. It's one of those things I want to do. I, you know, I lived here 20 years and I never used a bicycle for transportation. You know, yeah. I always used it just to ride, exercise, go for a ride. You know, it, it was it wasn't to go to work. Right. I'd ride it, just ride around, ride right. by the beach and look at girls or whatever. Yeah. And about 10 years ago, I ditched my scooter for five years and rode a bicycle to and from work every time. I just wanted to experience it. Yeah. And what started out as an experiment turned into five years. Yeah. You know. I love, you know, I, well, like I said, we were living up in Big Pine and our car went out like last April and I was like, you know what, we don't need to buy another car. Yeah. We knew what was going on with our house. We yeah. knew we were going to be leaving there. Yeah. So I would just bike two miles to the bus stop, to the take bus the stop. bus down, take the, I, I mean, I, got into that routine and especially what kicked it off was after Irma you know we were in Kudjo uh, we lost everything our cars uh, everything wow. so I was like well, I'm gonna see what the bus is all about I love it huge fan but yeah the Duval Loop you can take it up to so all the way to Marathon the bus from Big Pine down to Key West yeah I mean a lot of times I'll take it the radio stations up in Sugarloaf so I'll hop I'm who right. all rides it uh, it's always a very interesting mix of people yeah um, She's so polite. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very interesting mix. Um, but also, there is no unentertaining trip on the bus, you know? Uh, yeah, I can And you'd imagine. be surprised. Sometimes somebody you really know walks on the bus, you're like, yeah. hey, oh. you're bus person. Yay, yeah. you know, yeah. so. Well, one day I'm going to do it. All right. I think I, we should do a sit with kid on the bus. I, that would I'm, be hysterically awesome. That. Yeah, we can you, you think about all the people we can interview on the bus. Wow. All right, I'm, I'm thinking this could be kind of fun. It could be. You know? fun. Sit with well, Kit goes on the road. On the road. KWTransit.com yeah. style. Yeah. We're, we're gonna do the loop today. Yeah, loop's free, so we don't have to pay for that. Even better. Yeah. Sponsored by. That's that's pretty cool. I, but I've never done it. That you know. It, well, you know, Terry. So I gotta get Terry. Terry's never. We've been talking about this forever. Tree Bar Terry. Yeah. So, you know, the first uh, Sunday of the month's free Locals Day. So you can do a lot of the a museums of the are free. Yeah. 
you do the trolley for right. she's never done half of the museums and she's never been on the trolley right so I keep saying we need to do a tour with Terry on Sunday well that's got to happen soon that was this whole bus thing was leading me to, to that that there are so many locals who go oh man there's nothing to do here or I've done everything and it's like you know it's not just about the bars and it's not just about fishing yeah and diving those are huge, we have but there's so many other things here. We have so, so many, many cool museums, the aquarium. When so I came many. down here, I did make it a point. I have been to, I can honestly say I've been to every museum, I've been to every attraction, I've never everything. done the butterfly. It's one that I've never done. One of my all-time favorites. Never done it. You know what my other all-time favorite is? Shipwreckers Museum. Yeah. But I thought, you know, I'm on Duval Street, I'm working as a bartender, you're an information source, right? Right. So, I've always you're only as, you should know what your town is about. You exactly. should be able to say, hey, what do you want to do? And I always I'm, say, you want to day drink 100%. or you want to visit museums? I'll tell 100%. you where to go. Yeah. I, I'm with you. Things totally. I miss is like Top of La Concha Sunset. I, I miss, miss that, that so much. That was my favorite. I yeah. used to tell people, they go, hey, I'm here for like four hours. It was a hours. hidden gem. And I would tell them, I go, walk down Duval Street and you can hit a bar too. When you get to the La Concha, Go around the wall and press the top and go up the top and look around. Yeah. You can see the whole island is gorgeous. Come back down, go all the way down to the end, so, hit the southernmost house, southernmost point, come back around on, on Whitehead, and you got the little white, uh, the, the lighthouse, you yeah, got Hemingway White House. house. Museum, I go, yeah. If you want to venture off, you can do a little, and I tell them, you can do that loop and it'll take you like two hours. Yeah, yeah. You know? And back in the day, you know, Southernmost but, Museum or Southernmost Mansion yeah. has so many presidential historic things in there. They have right. like a sign, like there's just so many like hidden these there's and that. There's so and many keys. hidden things in this yeah. town that people don't even know. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, well, I could, I could go off on it, but. Yeah, well. I mean, it, and there is, and it's, you know, I mean, the it's, fact that we have a treasure hunter, Mel Fisher, that like, you know, just went and followed his dream, followed his dream, followed his dream, finally struck. Like, what a what a success story. Yeah, what we're a just story. a little, little we're a little piratical town, and I say, if you have your shit together, if you have your stuff together, sorry, right. you can you succeed in this town. Yeah. Like crazy. There's so yeah. much opportunity. If there you come is. here and you let this town eat you up and you get caught in the cyclone. It can go either way. It can go either way. There's no gray. Yep, it can go there's either balance, way. There's balance, but there's no gray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is. You know, that vortex will brown you down. Oh, yeah, it will. Yo, Big uh, time. <laughs> yeah, but I, I agree. I mean, it's it's, and I think it's that way everywhere, but this island really truly is whatever you want it to be, it can be that for you. Yeah, because, you know, I feel like if you are going and after something, this island supports you. Right. You know, it's like, you. we've had bartenders start businesses, and it's just sure. like, or, you know, I, like, that's all this stuff. It's like, sure. this town will support you. They will. And the only way your business is going to succeed is if you get the support of the town, uh, FYI, absolutely. too. <laughs> oh, I, you know, and it's, you know, sitting right here in front of the pizza shop, I hear it all the time where people go, oh, well, you don't need the, the locals, you're just a tourist business and I look at them I go I even even you know on an average day half of my customers are local yeah and they're like no way and it's like well where do you think the bartender or the server or the musician or you know the prep guy or you know where do you think they're eating dinner or lunch yeah you know they come here yeah I mean this is they I get so many locals that eat here you know not as many as I used to on the attorney row over there on Whitehead I used to always have an attorney in here. One almost every day, there'd be some somebody yeah. from the staff or one of the. If they weren't in court, they'd be here having lunch. Yeah. You know, because you got to eat. Well, plus you're one of the only places that's consistently open late night. Well, that's true. You don't have to question. You no, are. These are your hours. You don't have to guess. You are absolutely correct. I'm like that. a moth to the flame to your pizza. Three thirty a.m. Yeah. And I tell people, don't be here at three forty because it'll be too late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can get lucky, job. and there might be something left. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Not often, Not but a, maybe. You know, yeah. Don't don't press your luck. <laughs> Just come come before three thirty. Yes. Yes. But you know, it's what we do. I mean, we're a late night. Uh, you know, I've always been that way, and I don't. I hope I don't ever have to change it. I don't think you're gonna have to. Maybe not. I hope I think not. Think you're you're what I call a staple. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. So, you're a woman of wealth. Of, knowledge and been here 20 years and see the town moving and shaking where do you think it's going 
I think we're at a pivotal point right now that I think that we are outpricing ourselves a little bit. Right. That I'm worried about. Not only just for like our housing, but also to come here and rent a hotel. You know, you're coming Everything. down for a festival. You're paying festival price, then you're paying right. a whole lot. Right. I just had two friends of mine from Jersey they were paying five hundred dollars a night for a hotel. That's amazing. You know, and that's and that's, not that's, a crazy hotel. It didn't crazy. have a lot of amenities and all this other fun stuff, but you know, you think about it's still that, a it's lot like of money. that's a lot of money to just pay before you add in airfare, what the prices of drinks are now in town, sure. the prices of restaurants yeah. are. Um, so that that makes me a little weary. Yeah. I see a lot of our locals leaving, just You're, you know, that have been here for years and years yep. and years. That's what's um, driving it. Yeah, so I'm a little worried about that. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I feel like our staples are always going to be here, and I feel like it will bend back if it gets to a certain it point. It does. It has to bend back. I watch. Right? It, I watch it ebb and flow. Yeah. You know, every few years we get outpriced, and then we come back to reality. And yeah. Get outpriced, and it comes back to reality. I mean. It, I mean, let, let's face facts. It's about a seven-year cycle. Gift to us because we were the only drivable tropical island anybody in the United States right. could go to. So right. at that time, it was like bonkers, you know. Yeah. But now that that's now that people can go elsewhere, I feel like we need to come back a little bit more to reality and kind of even out. And it usually does. I say it's usually yeah. a six or seven year cycle. Yeah. You know, and I think I think it'll happen. But yeah, I think like uh, anything else, it depends who, on like election years and all that other nonsense. It's election year, so all kinds of you know, shenanigans yeah, will go on. Yeah. So. <laughs> we know that, you know. And we got we got a big election year coming up. We yeah, got, we do. You know, it's going to be interesting what to are see. We, you know, ten months away. Not yeah. Even. I can't believe wow, it. Already. I know. It's so crazy. I don't watch TV, about. so I don't really pay that close attention anymore. I don't watch TV either. But I watch Netflix. That's about yeah. it. Yeah. I watch Motor I Trend. I don't even have cable, so. I'm on Motor Trend, and that's it. Yeah. Occasionally, I'll switch over and watch a, a rock something on, what is it, channel. There's a channel somewhere right close to to me, uh -huh. Axis TV. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And they'll show, like, Andy watches that, yeah. old old concerts or new concerts. Yeah, that's and a good one. I'll, I'll see that, and I'll put that on for some background noise. But that's about it. Quite frankly, <laughs> I don't have time to watch TV. I really don't either. I've got a zillion you know, things going on, no. and by the time I get to the house, no. it's like, let me put something on. I'm probably going to fall asleep to in about five minutes, yep. and then I start my day over again <laughs> the next day. <laughs> my wife has my counted. My cycle. Valerie, Valerie has gone. You make me sick at how fast you fall asleep. I'm like, why? I go, I don't lay down until it's time to go to bed. And she goes, I, and, I'll, and I'll say, I said to her one day, I go, okay, count and see how long it takes me to fall asleep. She goes, well, how will you know? I go, just wake me up and tell me. Yeah. So I was, I feel her smacking me on the arm. And I go, I go, what, what, what? She goes, it took you 23 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm yeah, like, no, I was never wow, that that's person. that's a long time. <laughs> you know, bartenders talk about our service, like, oh, I got to wind down after my shift. Not me. I will no, walk I, in, my head hits the pillow, out like a light. But I'm still I, up at the wee I'm, hours in the morning. I'm, so. I'm pretty much with you on that. Yeah. Well, Carolyn, I thank you so much for your this time. This was so fun. You know, I, I really would like to have you come back after you have all the the March concerts. Oh, yeah. I'm sure I'll have plenty of stories. And, and just give us some dirt or some Yeah. I got some, the Temptations coming back, too. I got everybody. It's Temptations you know, should for Should I go see the Temptations? You should. Is that one I should go you see? You should. You should. I, I think Valerie might have bought tickets for that. You should go see it. It's in the problem is they're all in March, and it's just like oh, the worst time for me. You know, oh, well, like, yeah. It's spring break uh, time. Uh, you got to deal with a lot of... But, but, Spring breakers. But I I can get over there in five minutes and get back. So you know. Yeah, come for I a couple songs and roll out. All right. So before I let you run away, I'm going to ask you one tough question. Okay. You ready? Oh gosh, I don't know. Yeah, this is your final question. Okay. If you were a pizza, what kind of pizza would you be? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> just, your cheese. Just, just cheese. Up. You know, hey.